Surrogacy is an exciting part of this journey that you're on to become parents. Uh, it's partnering with somebody that's going to carry that pregnancy for you. Uh, it's, it's your pregnancy. It's somebody that's helping you with this process. Uh, and it's a very intimate relationship that you're going to have with this very generous person that's going to carry your pregnancy. Your surrogate will come in for a medical evaluation. We do extensive screens on the health of the surrogate. We'll look at her prior pregnancies to make sure that there's no complications there that may complicate your pregnancy moving forward. Uh, we do evaluations on the uterus. It's a very simple procedure that's done in the office with an ultrasound. We really want to make sure that you have a healthy person that's going to partner with you in this process to achieve that goal of becoming a parent. So for our couples undergoing a fresh embryo transfer, uh, it's very important that we sync up the menstrual cycles of the donor and surrogate there. Treatment needs to be coordinated in a very specific manner. It's a very simple process for us to do on the birth control pill that will allow us to control when the donor starts her stimulation to get the eggs to grow and will allow us to start the stimulation on the surrogate to prepare her to be pregnant. The embryo transfer itself is a very special moment. It's the least clinical feeling part of this process. It's a chance for our intended parents and our surrogate to bond, to be together. We'll go through the embryo quality. We'll decide which embryos and how many embryos to transfer. And for our intended fathers that can be there for the transfer, it's done very comfortably and discreetly. So you can be in the room and be part of that transfer process. So after the transfer, we put the embryos in. Uh, we've all shared that special time together. Your surrogate will go back home or go to her hotel if uh, she doesn't live close to the clinic. She'll continue hormones for the next two weeks. It's often a difficult time because not a lot's happening uh, and everybody's a little anxious on pins and needles. But uh, two weeks after the transfer, your surrogate will go in for a pregnancy test and hopefully we have great news to share with you. Once a pregnancy has been achieved, the surrogate will be going through a series of blood tests. About a month after the transfer, we'll start doing ultrasounds. The ultrasound, will see if it's a singleton, if it's twins. That's another great time for intended parents and fathers to come in and be there with their surrogates. If they can't be there, we can Skype you in. We really want this to be a bonding moment for you, your surrogate, and for your baby. We'll continue to manage the pregnancy to the end of the first trimester. Your surrogates can be on some hormones, estrogen and progesterone, to help encourage the pregnancy. We'll draw her off of those hormones by the end of the first trimester. And at that point, she returns to her obstetrician. Hopefully just a routine, simple pregnancy. And even though you've gone through all these medical procedures, it really should be a simple routine pregnancy. And that's the best kind of pregnancy to have.